Alright, Shalom. Shalom. Of course, and foremost, we all pray, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in the last days, great millstone. And Shalom to the brothers out there that are pushing the most high's word and sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Today we got a quick topic. Uh, through the spirit just going into discernment so the first scripture we're going to start with is to rock chapter 18 verse 30 you know and the scriptures are not in any particular order you know we're just going to just flow through the spirit hey just going through a, spir a spiritual discernment on how you uh, maneuver and move through your day-to-day -day life in this uh, uh in this world go ahead it's a rock 18 and 30 go not after thy lust but refrain thyself from thy appetites. So, so, so go not after thy lust, but ref, uh, refrain thyself uh, 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 from thine appetite. So those things that your flesh are constantly desiring, you have to develop and learn discipline in order to balance those things out. Because you can't constantly do those things that are well-pleasing unto your flesh because then you become imbalanced in the spirit. Mm -hmm. You can't constantly do those things that, uh, 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 that are constantly... Uh, uh, Pretty much goes into how study is a uh, uh, to the flesh. It's much weariness on, on, onto the flesh, mm -hmm. you know. So you got to find that perfect balance, mm -hmm. hey. Because the heavenly father deals constantly with those things that are double, one against another. Mm -hmm. You don't have extreme hot without extreme cold. Mm -hmm. You don't have hot, uh, up without down, you know. And you don't have left without right. All of those have a particular medium point. All right. So that's how it is in the spirit, and you got to be able to discern different situations and be spiritual every second, every minute, every hour of the day. Go ahead. Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is abomination to the Lord Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. So the Heavenly Father is, is, is well pleased in a just weight or a balance, man. You know, and because anything that's, that is imbalanced is considered an abomination. Mm -hmm. The Heavenly Father doesn't look at that as a holy attribute, mm -hmm. okay? So when you're dealing with people in the world, you know, you can't be biased or you can't be a respect of persons. Mm -hmm. You can't be one-sided and enjoying this particular lifestyle over that one when it comes to something worldly, man. Mm -hmm. hey, because at the end of the day, you have to be spiritual and not carnal-minded. Hey, because scripture goes into how a, 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 a carnality is enmity with the Heavenly Father. That's right. And to be carnal is death, but hey, 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 but on the contrary, it's righteousness and, and life eternal, man, or mm -hmm. everlasting. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Hebrews 5 and 13. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. You know. For he is a babe. So, so he's a babe, man. Okay. Hey, because hey, it's gonna say, it. go ahead. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age. Right. Hey, that's why Paul said, when I was a child, I I, I thought as a child, mm -hmm. but when I became a man, I put away childish things. And right. hey, because before you're a child, you're a babe. Mm -hmm. And you desire to, uh, that sincere milk, so to speak. Mm -hmm. but, but as you grow and you develop, that meat is, 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 is now more pleasing to you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. And the exercise is, a, is something that, that that's repetitive, man. Yeah. Or, or, uh, 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 now you have that experience uh. to discern between both good and evil. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about, to be able to discern righteousness versus wickedness, mm -hmm. good versus evil, you know, and bad things versus righteous things, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, give me a uh, Sirach 37, Ecclesiastes 37, and verse 27, you know. Hey, because, because different environments, different associations of people, that can destroy you, ultimately. But but you gotta pray to the Most High for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you may be able to maneuver in between all those different obstacles, man. And because we have stumbling blocks placed before us every single day of our lives, man. Whether it's in your own household, whether in this, uh, in this truth, or whether it's on the workplace, in this world, in your current life and condition, there are stumbling blocks set before you that, 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 that are pretty much set up for, for you to fall and fail and stumble, man. Mm -hmm. But the scriptures also talks about how, how that righteous man that falls seven times, you know? But he constantly he constantly is reminded of when he's slipping. Go ahead. All right. This is Rock 37 and 27. My son, prove thy soul and thy life and see what is evil for it. So you got to prove your soul and your life to see what is evil for it. So you have to try out different things to find out who you are. A lot of people that call themselves Israelites don't know who they are. 
A lot of people who call themselves Israelites do not understand what, what, what it truly means to be an Israelite. You got Israelite rebels, mm -hmm. you got Israelite reprobates, mm -hmm. you got Israelites who love Esau, mm -hmm. you got uh, Israelites who love this current world and condition, you got Israelites who love captivity, mm -hmm. you know? So they haven't truly found out what is right and beneficial for their own soul because they haven't proved themselves, man. Right. They haven't even acknowledged or examined themselves whether they are truly in the faith of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, or not. Go ahead. Uh -huh. And it says, um, My son, prove thy soul thy life and see what is evil for it and give not that unto it. So it, 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 if, if you realize that something isn't working for your spiritual growth and your spiritual benefit, the scriptures say get, get, give that give not that unto it. Whether if it's going to a particular place, whether it's being around a particular person or people, putting yourself in a certain environment, you know, overindulging in certain things, mm -hmm. whether it's dainties, whether it's pleasures, mm -hmm. you have to you have to learn and utilize discipline in your life because even wisdom itself said that she tried him with with her discipline. Mm -hmm. Okay? And prove with his heart, man. And then and then ultimately when that trial or that test has been passed, and then she uh, 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 enters in unto you, you know? But not a moment till, because it said wisdom would not enter, if, uh, I'm not certain if I'm using the correct word or not, but ism, wisdom would not enter into a corrupt soul, man, or a corrupt body, so to speak, okay. full of sin. Go ahead. I just Ecclesiastes 1 and 16. I commune with my own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate, and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge, and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that this also is vexation of spirit. It's vexation of spirit, and because because it gave his it gave his mind to understand all things, both good and both evil, because he was trying his soul, trying his spirit to figure out what was beneficial for it, you know, and ultimately. All was vanity because it's to no avail. Because even at the end of the day, your good is 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 is, is it comes in short bursts, mm -hmm. and then ultimately you're gonna die, you know. And everything that you may have accumulated or or, or, or developed or done good to somebody else, it's just gonna be a distant memory. That's right. You know. You got some room? Yeah, yeah. This is um. Did you read verse seventeen, bro? Okay, yeah, yeah, I did. You did. Okay. Okay. This is um, James 1 and 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Yeah, and that's the point. Basically, when you look into the term superfluity, and I'm going to get that in the Greek. Get that again. Strong's G four thousand fifty. Perisaya. Perisaya. Right. So when you look at that, it states residue remains the wickedness remaining over in a Christian form from its state prior to conversion. Meaning that you have never converted to that new creature because you still have that persona of that old man. All right, so once you change, then basically you are cleansed by the word, man. But a part of the doctrine is that you have to go through certain experiences. Basically, you have to try your soul to be able to say, okay, this is not good for me. I mean, this is not good for me. All right, because without that, then you have nothing to basically uh, uh, govern your walk, man. All right, because not only do we get um, um, edification through other Akim's experiences, but at the same time frame, we have to walk through certain customized walks for ourselves as well, man. It's Rock 34 and 10. He that have no experience, nor it little, but he that have travel is full of prudence. You know? You know, that's pretty much backing up what mm -hmm. you just said, man. He that have no experience, no little. You're not going to uh, know certain things that you should not begin to. You know, I, I should not go to this little bar 
or I should not go to this place around these group of people. You know what I'm saying? Because you are you have formally did that, uh, you know, a minute ago or something like that. You yeah, know? which is going to that uh, superfluity mm -hmm. because basically you still attached to that old man. That old man wants to continue to thrive and be enticed by these lusts. Okay, and like the elder was saying, these dainties. But well, once you become that spiritual being, then basically you have to be temperate in all things, man. Colossians, was you through, bro? Yeah, uh, you said Colossians 4 and 5? At Colossians 4 and 5, walk in wisdom toward them that are without. So you gotta walk in wisdom toward them that are without, which means outside of this truth, man. Mm -hmm. So people in the world, go ahead. Redeeming the time. So acknowledging the time, making sure that, 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 that it, it's not overly spent amongst them, man. You know, go ahead. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. That's right, and that's self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. And that season with salt, it means that you're always spiritual, man. That's right. Hey, because because as you maneuver in the world, you know, it, hey, the scripture talk about n not letting uh, 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 your left hand know what your right hand doeth, man. So you can't be just be a blabbermouth out there in the world revealing all your belly and all your guts out there, right. you know? And at the same time, you have to be able to redeem the time and understand that, 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 that time spent with a nigga, so to speak, man. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, because because you can't have a, you can't be imbalanced to where you're spending more time with people in the world than you are with guys in the truth, with, with your fellow brothers in the truth. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why we always reiterate through spirit. You gotta have that Clark Kent, Clark Kent spirit, man. Yeah. You know, uh, when Clark Kent, when he was on the scene at work, they didn't know he was Superman at nighttime. You that's know right. what I'm saying? That's right. So you gotta have those two dualities, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, and when people find out, they find out yeah. on their own. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. You know. 1 Corinthians 7 and 31. And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world pass it away. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, use this world not abusing it, right? So 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 don't get caught up in 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 in, in scheming, 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 manipulating, different things mm -hmm. of that nature. Hey, the scripture talk about being content. So that, you know what I'm saying? You uh do what you have to do for you to be self-sustained in this place, man. And that's the spirit, Elder, because when you look at that uh, word fashion in the Greek, it goes into skama. And that's where you get the origin of scheme from, like you said, scheming. And that scheming is actually going into manner of life, which is also going into the image of the beast, man. Because like we said earlier, black culture, this American uh, dream, all this is product of the image of the beast, man. And the fashion is where a pass of the way, man. That's right. Hey, because we're in the the, 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 the home stretch of, of this place going down, man. You know? Hey, because because all ancient kingdoms have perished, man. Mm -hmm. And this place is no different. The Heavenly Father has a judgment and a time of expiration set forth on this wicked land. Because the sins of this world have reached unto the heavens, man. And all of these different principalities, all these different spirits out there in the world, you have to be able to observe the time, man, and discern it as well. Because you got to constantly walk spiritual, uh, spiritually because, because anything outside of that spirituality is death, man. Right. Because, hey, like we were talking about in class, man, like literally demons can hop on you from the two-thirds thoughts by basically trying to thrive in this society, man. That's why the most high states that basically you supposed to congregate or fellowship with like my brethren, man, so you can stay in the spirit. If you're hanging around with the two thirds all the time, then you're gonna always be out of sync with the spirit, man. Cool. Just gotta go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. This is a rock, um, 13, and start at verse 16. All flesh consorted according to kind, and a man will cleave to his like. Uh, yeah, a man will cleave to his like. So, so if you're more inclined to, 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 to the worldly aspect of it, then you're a worldly individual, man. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. What fellowship have the wolf with the lamb, so the sinner with the godly? That's right. Mm -hmm. And they don't mix. That's, that's oil and water. That's light and darkness. The two don't go together because there's, those are two extremes, man. You, you got extremely righteous and you have extremely wicked, man. Good. And the scripture talk about, hey, can two walk together unless they be agreed? Mm -hmm. We're not on one accord with the people of this world. That's why they said the scripture talks about love, not the world, not the things that are in it. You know? Hey, because the, the, the fashion of this world, hey, run it fastly to be, uh, uh, to be put out, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 18, what agreement is there between the hyena and the dog? Mm -hmm. And what peace between the rich and the poor? And there is none, man. Hey, because the, the, the rich ruleth over the poor, man. The poor doesn't give the rich commands. 
Nope. You got some? Bro, get that Ecclesiastes for the other. 32 and what? Yeah, 32 and 20. All right. Yeah. And then you give me Ecclesiastes 8 and 5. Okay, Ecclesiastes. Is this Ecclesiastes? Ecclesiastes 32 and 20. Go not in a way within thou mayest fall. So, so go not in a way wherein thou mayest fall, man. Hey, because that goes back into the experience. It goes back into proving your soul and and, 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 and and finding what is beneficial for it or not, you know? And giving not yourself all these particular dainties that satisfy your carnal appetite, you know? It it's really it, it really goes into to spiritual maturity. Mm -hmm. It goes into spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. It goes into experience. And that's all it is, you know? And because you have to to, to, to understand your understand yourself in order to be a better man of your how shot. Mm -hmm. And that's ultimately what it's all about. Even, you know what I'm saying? The topic and the subject matter is it, just it's just strictly that, you know? It's no it's no no finger pointing, there's no 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 you uh uh you call bashing your character or whatever the case may be, or attacking you. Mm -hmm. It just it just an exhortation to spit uh, uh, to grow up spiritually, mm -hmm. you know? Sure. Hey, cause hey, hey, cause we're growing in this truth, man. And we're not growing younger, we're growing old in this truth. You know, and gray hairs are the are, are the, uh, 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 the wisdom of man. Mm -hmm. You know, and so you got to constantly just, uh, 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 just be reminded to be spiritually discerned in this in this truth in your walk. Go ahead. All right. It says, "Go not in the way where fear thou mayest fall, and stumble not among the stones." You know, and because as we were talking about earlier, there are a lot of stumbling blocks out there, and they're going to entangle and engraft the wicked man. You know, and but that righteous man can stumble, he can fall, dust himself off. And learn from that experience mm -hmm. and because a lot of people when they go through things and things happen they two things happen they that they, they either learn mm -hmm. or they don't That's right. a lot of people continue to continue to put themselves in, in, in very dire straits so to speak man mm -hmm. and because because they're not learning from their past experiences and their past ex, uh, mistakes that's right go ahead. Uh, and roots like uh, the root word for experience i want to say it goes to to try out you know mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah mm -hmm. and uh, that's why it says in uh romans the fifth chapter uh and it's uh patience experience mm -hmm. you gotta be patient you know when you go through those different type of experiments you know? that's right that's right ecclesiastes 8 and 5 whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. You know, so, so he that, that keepeth the commandment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall feel no evil thing, mm -hmm. man. Because hey, the Heavenly Father is going to continue to watch you and guide you and lead you and direct your steps and direct your paths, man. And because although different things may happen, you know, you may go through different things, certain things are going to befall you, hey, but the Heavenly Father is not going to forsake you. That's right. He's not going to forsake, forsake his, his elect. But you have to prove your soul and try your, your, your own self to find out what are those things that are hindering your spiritual growth? What are those things that that, that can enhance you as a man of the Lord? Mm -hmm. What are those things can can embedder you, you know, mm -hmm. as a, uh, a as a brother in His truth? Mm -hmm. Got some more. And a, and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgments. And a wise man's heart they discerneth mm -hmm. both time and judgments, mm -hmm. man. So that time goes back to, back into redeeming the time, redeeming the time of the uh, of the company that you keep, mm -hmm. and then it says the uh, uh, the uh, the discernments of judgments, man. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. time and judgment, time mm -hmm. and judgment, because hey, we understand the ultimate judgment that is coming upon planet Earth, and we understand that that, that the, the the daily judgments that happen upon planet Earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you got it. Yeah, Malachi three eighteen. Malachi three and eighteen. Then shall he return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. And a righteous man is able is able to decipher between the two. You understand that this is a righteous man. Mm -hmm. You understand that this is a wicked man. That's right. Hey, because because you're able to to to, to spiritually discern, okay, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shai, those that serve the Lord and those that serve not. Those that serve not, you you, you know you you keep your company with them. You know what I'm saying to a, a, to a minimum, you know, yeah. hey, because because it's all about you working out your own salvation with fear and trembling, hey, but at the same time being at peace with all men, it's a perfect balance, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like you know, what I'm saying? as we're going into, it's just all about that, that that perfect balance of discernment in this truth, mm -hmm. you know, hey, because be, hey, because you're a man now, yeah. Hey, the Heavenly Father called you in the time of your youth. The Heavenly Father called you before the time of calamity. So you gotta, you know, say so you gotta to, to embrace that. You have to understand it and take and take ownership of it. 
Psalms 58 and 11. So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. There's a reward for the righteous. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Hawashah for that. Go ahead. Verily, he is a power most like very he is a power that judges in the earth. Hey, the Most High is a power that judges in the earth, man. You know, and hey, because because the scriptures talk about how that every man's deeds, right, uh, shall be judged, mm -hmm. whether they be good or whether they be evil, because right. all men are going to receive a a reward or a recompense mm -hmm. for their works mm -hmm. that they have done upon planet Earth, man. You know, and and and, and when that judgment comes upon the wicked. You don't want to be anywhere near them, man. Wherever that may be, and however it may happen, you want your Hawa Shim Hawa Shah to shield you from it. And this is the last scripture right here. It's Sirach 20 and 18. To slip upon a pavement is better than to slip with the tongue. 28, 18. It's like, it's uh, Sirach 28 and 18. And it says, many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many has fallen by the tongue. By the tongue, hey, because that tongue is what out there in the world gets a lot of people into shambles, man. Mm -hmm. That's what gets a lot of people cut off and, 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 and put down, yeah. put on ice, flatline, mm -hmm. you know? Hey, but hey, 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 but that script, the scripture tell us to, to, to always be seasoned with salt, our speech always being seasoned with salt, to be able to, to, to know how to answer every man. Hey, because that tongue, that tongue has gotten a lot of people put to death more than the sword has, man, mm -hmm. you know? Y'all bro say anything I had? Yeah, bro. You know? Hey, so with that, Lord willing edification was there to walk circumspect, to walk uh, spiritually discerned day to day. All praise glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakak Kodash, double honor to the other apostles, a great millstone. Shalom to the brothers and sisters out there. Until next time, Shalom. Hey, shalom.